Fergus Walsh has sent this special report. They travel to every corner of Bangladesh. Community health workers like Mukta looking for the blind, for children whose sight can be restored. Alamin is 10 and has never seen his village. His friends are used to helping him get around. The sight test shows Alamin's vision is almost nil. For him, anything more than a few inches away looks like this, completely blurred. He was born with cataracts. The lens of each eye should be clear, but is a white, fibrous disc through which light can't penetrate. But a simple operation should change all that. The medical staff gather up other cataract-blind children from remote villages for the journey to the eye hospital in Dhaka. The operation is precise but routine surgery. The cloudy lens of the eye is cut out. It's replaced with a clear synthetic one. It all takes just a few minutes. We associate cataracts with old age, but in Bangladesh, it's a disease of poverty, malnutrition and infection. But of course, it's not just children who need help. There are more than half a million adults in Bangladesh who are blind as a result of cataracts. So this eye hospital has become a virtual production line, restoring sight on a massive scale. But there are simply too many adults needing surgery. Some get it free, but many are put off, assuming they'll have to pay. When these people are diagnosed with cataract, they're so hopelessly poor, uh, they have no money to eat. Where are we going to get the money for the surgery? Is that desperate? They're desperate, absolutely desperate. But things are looking much brighter for cataract-blind children in Bangladesh. Within four years, all should have been treated. Each eye is operated on a month apart. 24 hours after his first surgery, Alamin's bandages are ready to come off. This is his first look at the world. How many fingers? Two, he says. He reaches out to grab them. Ah, yes, you can see. It's the first time he's seen his mother's face. With each day, his sight will improve. So gradually, the child will be able to see, within four to six weeks after the operation, a good vision and can do off his or her own everything. So she can, he can read the book, he can do his homework, he can go to school, she can uh, uh, play with the friends. Alamin's mother says he can now go to school. <laughs> doctor, I want to be a doctor, he says. The next day they return home and the village children are waiting. 10,000 cataract blind children in Bangladesh will have their sight restored over the next four years. And this is the first time Alamin has walked without help to be reunited with his father. The success of the child cataract campaign in Bangladesh shows what can be achieved in the poorest and remotest of regions. But it's just the beginning. Around the world, three quarters of all blindness is preventable or reversible. Tackling that is a huge global health challenge. For the best results, Alamine's surgery should have been done when he was much younger. As a result, his vision won't ever be perfect, but it will still be good enough to transform his life. Fergus